This woman is using the restroom, and at this moment, a pair of leather shoes appeared under the door panel. Obviously, there is a man standing outside the door. The woman warned him, this is the women's restroom, but men are getting too much, even looking inside through the crack in the door, feeling unsatisfied, still sticking out his nose to smell the smell inside. The woman was frightened and cursed profusely. The man is frantically knocking on the door at this moment, but it didn't take long to stop. The woman is grateful that he has finally left, so he cautiously opened the door, but he never expected it. The man actually attacked him from behind, a woman's desperate struggle, but still dragged into the darkness behind him by the man. And at this point, Nick and his boyfriend drove by here. He tried to suppress nausea, entering this dilapidated toilet. The door panel is densely covered with words. Nick left without taking it seriously. After he goes out, I'm just dumbfounded, because my boyfriend and car actually disappeared. Nick thought it was a prank, but my boyfriend didn't show up for a long time, and there's a RV next to it. Someone is taking photos inside. Nick asked for help from the people inside. Strangely enough, the people inside did not respond. At this point, suddenly, I heard the sound of an engine in my ear. A pickup truck unexpectedly charged towards Nick. He jumped aside to avoid a disaster. The man inside threw him something. Nick pick it up and take a look. It's actually my boyfriend's phone. But the battery has already been removed. Nick understands come on. The man in this car kidnapped his boyfriend. He noticed that the license plate number of the pickup truck was exactly the same as that written in the toilet. The rest booth opposite at night is lit. Nick picked up a stone and smashed the glass. Opened the door smoothly. Serendipity of a radio. Quickly seek help from the police. Time arrives in the second half of the night. Nick heard the sound of a car. Thought it was the police coming. Can open the door. But I saw my boyfriend's car. Nick cautiously walked forward. Thank goodness. The car keys are still there. Hurry up and drive away. The leader suddenly felt a warm current in this terrifying place. It's actually blood, and the car has been tampered with by someone. There's no way to start it at all. Just then, the pickup truck nearby suddenly turned on its headlights. Pickup truck quickly retreats. Prepare another batch. Nick was scared out of his wits. At a critical moment, I opened the car door and escaped. Nick stood in front of the pickup truck warning the man. The police are already on their way. But the other party didn't panic at all. At this moment, the horn on the car actually played Nick's conversation with the police. Originally, all of this was designed by a man, and her daughter unexpectedly discovered a RV in the wilderness. He hurried forward to seek help, just when he thought he was saved. But I didn't know he was falling into another abyss again. Not long after getting on the car, the girl noticed that the family's mental state was also a bit abnormal. Women always say strange things in their mouths. Not only that, but also, his family members all have a very strange appearance. But then the girl found out, it seems like there's still someone hidden. My daughter suspects that it could be her missing boyfriend Nick, who rushed over. Paul opened the curtain. But it turned out to be a mouth inside, a deformed child with a short face and stature. But Nick caused a lot of anger. The woman shouted insults at her. He insisted on driving him out of the car. Nick found something new when he returned to the restroom. The door panel is covered several layers. No matter which floor is filled with distress messages, and the time span is still very long. This means that pickup men have always had fun tormenting people, playing cat and mouse games with women. Until he dies, he hunts his next target again. At this moment, I suddenly heard a woman's cry for help. Open the warehouse door by a crack. There's actually Ziokai locked inside. He told Nick that a V is a pickup truck man's. He suffered inhumane torture there. At this moment, the pickup man unexpectedly returned. Nicole took off a door panel. Stuck under the door handle, the pickup man locked the iron door into the basket. Basket sound. What's even more disgusting is that the pickup man stretched his nose to smell the smell inside. Not for a while. He just left. Zeke's condition is also getting worse and worse. Nicole wants to save little Sway. He ran into the car and picked up an iron rod. But when I returned, I found out that Ziokai was missing. Little Sway is undoubtedly unlucky. Nicole is very remorseful and painful. Both women, very distressed about Ziokai's experience, afraid of being tortured to death like Ziokai. He suddenly heard the sound of a motorcycle. It's a patrol officer passing by here. Nick quickly told him everything. At this point, a pickup truck has appeared again. What did the man say? The patrol actually let him go. Nick, come out quickly and stop him. But it's still one step too late. Pickup man driving into a patrol officer, ran over his leg, patrol lying on the ground unable to move, the pickup truck is backing up again, press over his leg again, Nick dragged the patrol officer to the restroom, but with a single heart for death, I hope Nick can kill him, Nick doesn't want to say anything, and at this point, pickup man reappears, this woman was actually imprisoned in the restroom, he poked a hole with a crowbar, trying to reach out and open the door, I'm just about to open the door, unexpectedly, the man grabbed his hand, he put his finger into his mouth, my daughter's heart was torn with pain. When the hand is pulled back, unexpectedly bitten off a finger by a man, the infuriated woman picked up the gun, shooting wildly outside the door. Suddenly, there was no movement outside the door, just when the woman thought that the man had been shot and carefully probed. The man is showing up by the window with a knife, throwing a camera into the house, 
Inside is a video of a man tormenting himself to death. My boyfriend has been scratched dozens of times all over his body. The tongue is still hard to cut off. Nick completely collapsed. But at the moment of shooting, the patrol stopped him, because the man is pouring gasoline into it. He wants to burn them alive. Nick will never accept his fate. Exhausting the power of nine oxen and two tigers, finally open the sunroof. Men can set fire at any time. Nick anxiously climbed up. Fortunately, they managed to escape in the end. But the man didn't intend to let him go. Just as Nick was drowsy, the truck is rushing over again. A man jumped out of a car. Nick ignited a sense of revenge. Kill a man alive with an iron rod. But never expected. This person actually, blow up. His mouth was sewn with wire. I didn't make a sound until I died. The next day, Nick found a box of matches. I also loaded half a bottle of gasoline in the car. Everything is ready. The pickup man also appeared. Nick worked hard to light the match. At a critical moment, finally ignited the combustion bottle and threw it out. Pickup truck engulfed by fire. Nick wants to go check. I didn't expect the cab to be empty. Wait for Nick to turn around. The man is already standing behind him. Not long after, rest station roll over. Nicole's notice was posted near the telephone booth. The movie ends. A classic plasma tablet, but the movie didn't reveal the man's identity until the end. Looking forward to finding the answer in the second part.